Mr. Investor Lot, welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel. I'm an investor here in London. Today we're going to be talking about PaySafe Catalyst. So we're going to go through their call. We're going to break down why the company looks so juicy. So we're going to be talking about potential acquisitions. We'll talk about their digital wallet growth and how much this industry can grow. And also Skrill is described as one of the fastest growing e-cash businesses. We're going to deep dive into William P. Foley and look at businesses that you may not know he owns, including this business. Oh yes, private wineries. So guys, a quick heads up. I had Square Inc. back in 2016 and this is what this company has done since then. You can see I had it around about $9 or $10 back in 2016 and since then this company has boom bada boom 25x. So I can see similar growth for Paysafe BFT. I did a lot of research over the weekend and I wanted to see how can Bill Foley and Paysafe merge together and synergize to make this company a success. I want to thank you guys so much for always watching my videos. I want to give a big shout out to my boss level investors, Joseph and TMG Capital. Thank you guys for becoming boss level investors on my channel. Your support means the world to me. If anyone would like to join channel memberships as well here, it's only 99 cents and you really help me create good content like this. If you're unable to join channel memberships, just you hitting the like button and clicking subscribe is enough to me. Thank you so much for your support. I love you all. Thank you guys. Okay, so quick introduction of pay safe this is ticker symbol bft on the new york stock exchange it's going through a spac merger with foley transamine acquisition corp and then it will combine and become pay safe so as you can see it's had a juicy run up we've been waiting on this for a while i got in around 13 dollars, but i think there's so much more room to grow and so much potential for this company so since i got in i'm about 40 percent up right now and i think this company still has so much more room to grow it could be exponential growth first let's introduce pay safe so pay safe is a leading global pioneer in digital commerce they offer for loads of payment solutions and transaction solutions for business to business and business to customer. So these are payment solutions that power the everyday. And if you can see here on the left, these are all the kinds of brands they have to help you run transactions either as a consumer or a business. So when you're talking payments and transactions, PaySafe is the one that comes to mind. If you can see here on the left, it says $103 billion in total volume of transactions. PaySafe is trusted by huge companies, even Microsoft here, and also PlayStation. So before I go into one of the presentations and investor calls, I'm going to take a look at their products. This product Skrill business here, you can see their premium partner over here is AC Milan football team. So this is a huge Italian football team. When we're talking transactions, we're talking in the millions. Some of these football players will be worth like 50 million, 100 million dollars. And right now AC Milan, the football team is first in the league in uh, Italy, in Serie A. These guys even looked at energy giants and they're seeing how they can provide the petroleum card services. So the petro industry's first and finest one of the leading providers of processing solutions specializing in independent gas stations and convenience stores. They also have a business called Netteller, which is globally accepted, and this allows customers flexibility to pay in a variety of ways. So before we get into that presentation call, I just wanted to show you guys what Bill Foley owns and how he can utilize the businesses he already owns and run transactions for these businesses through PaySafe making pay safe money. Essentially, he's getting money from one business, paying himself as well. He's keeping the money all in house. So done a little background check on uh, William P. Foley, Mr. Big Willy Willy. And when we were looking at his prior experience and what he currently owns, we got to see, you know, what businesses has this man got? And doing our deep dive, we found Mr. Billy Willy is the chairman, CEO and president of the Foley Family Wines Holdings. So these are handmade wines from some of the world's greatest vineyards. So when we went to Foley Wines, we managed to see Foley Wines' major shareholder is Bill Foley, who is a major investor in the US wine industry. His company, Foley Family Inc., is a top 20 wine company in the US, owning 17 wineries with over 150 dedicated sales personnel in the US. So we checked into these wineries and saw that there's so many private wineries that this owns, and we wanted to see how much revenue they bring in. And during a year when there was a pandemic, these guys brought in a monumental $50 million and they actually went up 13.4% in their sales revenue. So Bill Foley is a major shareholder. Who do you think runs the show when it comes to transactions? This guy could essentially get that $50 million in revenue that he's creating. And this company is growing. The sales are growing. The company's young still. He could get this and he could literally put the transaction through pay safe. You want to know what else he owns? This guy owns the Golden Knights, which is a National Hockey League team. As you can see here, the Golden Knights owned by Bill Foley and the Maloof family have an operating income of $13.9 million, but they had $156 
$1.5 million in revenue last year, running more transactions through this business. I don't know why my face has gone for a second, but it'll be back soon. So here can I holdings, these are all the other investments and companies that they've put money into. So literally Bill Foley could run all of the transactions for all of these companies. So the first part we're gonna listen to is where they're working on reducing costs and saving money. And remember by reducing costs, you create more profit. We will help Philip and his team identify additional cost savings Focus on the most attractive organic revenue growth opportunities and identify and execute strategic acquisition. Next, they're going to talk about identifying and purchasing the best companies possible. Identify organic revenue growth opportunities and identify and execute strategic acquisitions. They believe that this company has potential for massive growth. We believe PaySafe has significant long-term growth potential. So they want to come in and improve operations and business systems. So do you want to know how McDonald's became a beast of a company? You got to watch how they move in store. So when you're in store, as you can see here, they have a specific order so they don't bump into each other. Everything from the cash till to the fryer to the drinks machine, everything is placed so it just works out fast and everything is efficient. It's a bit like a conveyor belt. And also they upsell services. You want to make that a large, honey? These techniques and business systems is exactly how you can run the most efficient, most profitable, best operating system for your business. So there's so many improvements they can make. They're going to talk about total cost saving by having platform integrations, this is basically installing PaySafe into platforms to directly process payments for people like PlayStation, Xbox. Some of these companies here on my right are absolutely massive. Roblox, Fortnite, you've got YouTube, Twitch, Spotify, and they are able to run transactions for all of these companies already. These improvements will come in various tracks. First, it's going to be in total project cost savings from platform integration. Next, we're going to listen to how they're going to get rid of their rent money. So they're going to reduce their premises office footprint by about 30%. So that's 30% big savings, man. All this time in the pandemic, we're looking at, you know, derelict offices, derelict buildings, and they consume so much in rent money. And this pandemic has proved that a lot of us can actually work from home. We're also going to have a 30% reduction in premises office footprint. We'll have back office consolidation and risk compliance and operations. So in terms of risk platform reduction, they can save around about $15 million from fraud. And the risk platform is going to save another $15 million from fraud reduction, good and bad rate improvement, credit loss improvement, and digital wallet funding enhancements. They're also going to try and sweeten up those bank managers, baby. They want to reduce their banking costs. So business banking sometimes costs a certain amount per transaction or like 0.3% fee or 0.5% fee. They can save a massive amount of money from this. If you think about this on a mass scale, this could literally be millions in transaction savings. We also believe there's an opportunity to improve PaySafe's banking relationships, generating additional cost savings, adding to EBITDA growth. So they're going to save another 20 million or so there. Then they talk about, you know, winning in this uh, US gaming industry. So they forecast large growth in the sector, upside case where this industry could explode by 2025. Lastly, our goal is to win in US gaming. 10% of the US gaming market share is forecasted to grow to 24 billion of market volume in 2025. The upside case is about 47 billion of market volume. Remember that PaySafe has a global base of 15 million customers across all of its verticals. Then they talk about how Bill Foley has exploded a financial company from $1 billion all the way to $88 billion. And it's even more today. This financial company, you may know it's called Fidelity. Today, that $1 billion investment has a market capitalization of $88 billion. And if we take a look here in the actual the slideshow, you can see now the FIS is actually worth $91 billion in market cap. That's a 91X, baby. So this guy did it by cost reduction and savings, and he focused on growth. He bought and acquired companies and optimized operations. We love you, Big Willy. Oops, wrong Willy. FIS has very similar characteristics to PaySafe. An attractive platform with a defensible market position. Upside from acquisition, integration, platform consolidation, and cross-selling. We will cross-sell, cross-sell, and cross-sell. You heard it, so it's very similar and they were able to cross sell and actually sell loads of different products that they offer to the clients and merchants. So if this company is similar to Fidelity and they took it from a $1 billion company all the way to a $91 billion company, 
What do you think they can do with Paysafe? So Paysafe is focusing on transactions, but also a digital wallet. So let's take a look at Square Inc, a competitor company's digital wallet. So yeah, it reminds me of this digital wallet called Cash App, and it's a very lucrative niche industry. So yeah, when we think of Paysafe, we can see that their digital wallets are in like a very niche industry. And it reminds me of this Cash App. If we look at this Cash App and see how much it has made Square Inc grow, we're talking about big money in the pandemic that this Cash App has produced. So if we take a look here during this pandemic, Cash App has been literally an angel to Square Inc. It's proven to give it a huge boom. And we can see here that Square Inc seller ecosystem has suffered and slowed because of the pandemic. So they didn't have many people coming in to use their, you know, uh, Square Inc payment systems when they go and buy a coffee. But the Cash App has generated $2.1 billion in revenue in the third quarter. This is a 574% increase year over year. And this has given 70% of the company's 3 billion in overall revenue for that quarter. So it played a massive role in bringing in cash money. So imagine they're doing something very similar to what the Cash App is doing. Listen to their digital wallet. And finally, you can move money around in many, many other ways. You can take the funds from the wallet back out and instantly clear into a bank account. You can move it P2P from a wallet to wallet very, very effectively. You can move it from wallet to international bank account, effectively creating an international remittance, which is a nice area. And when we look at the global remittance market, we can see that it's going to reach nearly a trillion dollars. It's going to be $930 billion by 2026. Then they talk about their prepaid card, which is currently in like 30 markets. It's multifunctional, it's in-store, it's online, and it's universal, baby. And in 30 markets, we have a prepaid card account as well. So the funds are effectively omni-channel. You can use it in-store, online, or wherever you want to use those funds. So a lot of functionality. And that billion dollars of deposits to 4 million customers, they transact $23 billion through that ecosystem every single year. It's a very exciting product for us. The next product they're going to be talking about is eCash. So this is a very unique product because it makes cash available in the digital world. So we're talking about gamers, we're talking about the digital gaming money. It's a brilliant idea. So I actually have a friend, shout out to Nate, and he actually thought of this. He thought of like big e-gaming events where you can play and you can even, you know, earn e-tokens. You can spend it on food, snacks, entertainment, like in-house merchandise. So imagine a place where there is so much going on, like a mall for gamers almost, with rides and even a cinema. So these kinds of innovations right here will come out. And I've played a lot of games as a kid and, uh, you know, the generation after us are going to deep dive even more into the games, their knees deep into it. So Paysafe has uniquely positioned itself for this marketplace, this online marketplace for gamers and in the physical world too. The second product is eCash. I've been in the industry for 25 years and I have to say this is one of the more unique and flexible uh, products I've ever come across. Effectively, we make cash available in the digital world. We do this through 650,000 distribution points in over 50 countries and we service well over 12 million customers. We service them in two ways, a prepaid way and an invoicing way. On the prepaid, you can go to any one of these distribution points, put down a, a sum of money, you get a pre-funded account that you can then go use to buy online. So listen out for these keywords here, 650,000 locations in 50 countries to 12 million customers, and it's gonna be growing. We do this through 650,000 distribution points in over 50 countries and we service well over 12 million customers. So here they're gonna be looking for countries to target. So we saw this with Moldova and I think their team is so clever. There is so much growth in providing for the underserved and the underbanked. So let's look at this statistic. Statistic time. There are 1.7 billion adults in the world who do not have access to a bank account. They do not have a bank account. Take a look at all these populations around the world as well that don't have bank accounts. 224 million in China, loads in India, Pakistan, Nigeria, Mexico, Bangladesh, all of these countries, even Philippines is on the map. So when I say underserved and underbanked, there are hundreds of countries in 2020 in this day and age where a lot of people do not possess or own even a debit or credit card. They feel excluded and they're unable to buy online. Paysafe includes them and gives them a say in the online world. So we're talking about anyone who works uh, cash in hand. So it doesn't just have to be, you know, drug dealers or criminals. There's so many people who just prefer like cash transactions. So here they want to talk about how they can make big money and help people like this. We service them in two ways, a prepaid way and an invoicing way. On the prepaid, you can go to any one of these distribution points, put down a, a sum of money, 
you get a pre-funded account that you can then go use to buy online. Or you can buy online and in the shopping cart, instead of you choosing a card, you choose pay safe cash. You get a barcode, go back to the same distribution point and effectively pay cash and clear the shopping cart. So really, really powerful functionality. So here they talk about serving gamers and also the casual gamers. So people who want to make bets uh, every now and then. And they also talk about people who don't want to put their financial details online, don't want to take that risk for reasons like fraud and safety. In terms of who we service, we service millions of Gen Z and millennial gamers. They're playing Fortnite and PlayStation or downloading songs on Spotify. We service the casual gamer. Uh, that doesn't bet very often, maybe for the Final Four or Super Bowl or for their favorite cricket team. But we also serve millions of security conscious and underbank customers who don't want to expose their card online for general commerce. They may use it to fund uh, the Amazon cash account to buy online. So you can even use their PaySafe card online with Amazon. Commerce. They may use it to fund uh, the Amazon cash account to buy online. So let's look at some quick statistics about Amazon accounts. How many active users does Amazon have? 300 million active users online. That's twice the entire population of Russia. While this is big, there's also so many billions of people who don't have access to Amazon for various reasons. And PaySafe can bridge that gap. So another big problem is actually putting money into the bank. So how has PaySafe solved this? Or even more recently, uh, we partnered with digital banks like Moniz, where we become the ATM money in solution. We can deposit cash at a store and that gets into your bank account. So that's another big problem solved. So it's depositing cash into a bank, especially with these COVID queues and these COVID lines right now. It already takes ages with these kinds of queues. So PaySafe has partnered with digital banks and it can help customers deposit their cash into any store. And that's direct to your bank account. So we could walk into the Quickie Mart, dash the cash straight to our online safe. Mm -hmm. So they are focusing that business on the customer instead of just transactions. And when you solve problems, when you make life easier, that's when companies make big money. So they KYC the customer, which means know your customer, and they engage with the customer and bring them to the PaySafe app. By doing that, they double the app's usage by converting more of their users. We're also transforming this business from a transaction-based business to a customer-based business. Over the past 18 months, uh, we've been moving customers into our PaySafe app, which effectively works like a wallet. You KYC the customer, you, you have their email, you have their phone number, and you can really start to engage with the customer and develop that relationship. We've moved 40% of our volume into the app. So right now, their business is focusing on two main types of populations. This includes, you know, the e-commerce players, gaming clients, you know, marketing, property management. And then on the other side of that, they're talking about small to medium businesses. They can call these guys, you know, merchants. They have loads and this will scale up over time. Imagine these small and medium businesses turning into big business later on we really cater to two distinct populations. Global e-commerce players that in specific verticals like iGaming, direct marketing, property management, health and wellness. But also we're a scaled SMB player across the U.S. with over 200,000 merchants in the U.S. Uh, one of the larger players in that market and a very strong focus on providing e-commerce solutions to SMB merchants as well. So also by providing these e-commerce solutions, they're helping these businesses with online stores. So these small and medium sized businesses, they can bring solutions to help these merchants accept customer payments. We can go to a merchant with a full set of payment acceptance value propositions across e-commerce, integrated solutions and proprietary ATM to help a merchant accept payments. So they actually stated that they bring customers to the merchant and there's a whole load of customers there. So we actually bring customers to the merchant. Across digital wallets and eCash, we have 15 million consumers uh, that we bring into the network. And that creates a really two-sided impact, which we've really developed in iGaming, but we've seen developed in several other verticals where we're seeing growth. And because of that, we see a, a sustained and superior take rate that is almost double the industry average. So when they say they have high take rate, we're talking about, you know, high take rate for their industry. So they get double fees, double commissions from transactions, and this boosts their overall profit. This is madness. Imagine double the industry average. So when we talk about take rate, take this for example, a buyer spends $100 on a product, a payment service company might pay the seller $97, keeping $3 as the fee for that transaction. 
So what they want to try and do, as eBay and Amazon and PayPal have found, is build up an internal ecosystem to keep users in, to keep the take rates up and boost your profits as much as possible. Another good thing with Paysafe is they're a global operator and they're really smart about reacting to change. So the things that could hit businesses like this is rules and regulations, and they're really fast at jumping on boards and making sure they pivot and innovate. In Europe and the rest of the world, we're a global leader with over a thousand operators. We've continued to grow there and we have great stories of being your global partner, but also able to react locally when regulation changes, it's be it in the UK or Germany, examples where we're able to react very very quickly and support uh, support our operators so in terms of canada as you can see here they provide a hundred percent of canada's iGaming coverage so guys let's talk about regulation before about gambling right so regulations are relaxed now before in the usa it used to be almost like alcohol prohibition and recently in 2018 the supreme court lifted the federal ban on sports betting strong position in the u.s with 75 percent of the operators already integrated into pay safe as we speak we think we're well positioned to win this market, to continue to be a leader in all the markets we serve. Yo, so now that the regulations are relaxed, PaySafe works already with 75% of the operators across the US. So they are on the ball and they're straight in there. So now let's talk about mergers and acquisitions. They want to buy and acquire some companies in order to expand. And finally, we do see a playbook for expansion and creating a real M&A engine. Within PaySafe, we think there are multiple targets uh, of opportunity and growth. We have a clear go-to architecture with PaySafe Unity. But we also have the M&A expertise. Uh, PaySafe has integrated 15 companies throughout its history. And the current executive team has done well over 300 deals combined, either negotiated and or integrated, including many multi-billion dollar deals. So imagine they've already brokered over 300 deals and they've already bought over 15 companies. So PaySafe is saying that there's four ways they can grow. These four ways are platform integration, accelerating existing organic revenue with their growth strategies, winning in that US gambling and iGaming, and also mergers and acquisitions. So looking for who they can buy within the industry. If we go back to the clients they already have it's very diverse so if you take a look here they've got people in property management wellness membership social media and gaming these are some of the big games and as they said they already work with over 200,000 small and medium sized businesses so bill foley grew this fidelity company from 1 to 91 billion so imagine if you can do this to the fidelity company and they say that paysafe is like fidelity because it's scalable and it's in many markets and they see all of this kind of vertical integration as well they also expect more volume in users they expect you know loads of business merchants coming in and this will drive and bring more transactions and in turn bring higher profits also us gaming and us gambling will continue to grow and they can also provide deals with many of the new games coming out that are like fortnite and roblox and by serving people with those digital bank accounts they can also give access to these people and also run their transactions so just like what they did here with moldova there's potential for them to actually help over 1 billion more people in the world who don't have bank accounts and ultimately make these people their customers. And then the e-cash product has been really interesting. It started to help solve the check and cash problem for renters. That is offline, that is analog, and that's what these, these property management ISVs are looking for, how to make everything digital. We bring that holistic solution and we've been able to create that two-sided network here and drive some very interesting growth. So just some examples of where we've been really able to grow and expand uh, and go deeper into some key verticals. So not only does eCash solve Moldova's problem, but they also help property companies and renters have this eCash solution. So if I'm a builder and I'm working and I'm hiding from the tax man, hee hee, I could literally say pay my landlord through eCash maybe. Does this mean no VAT? No tax? Easy peasy. So overall these guys got good growth rates predicted for their compounded annual growth rates of 15% for both volume of transactions and their organic revenue. So next they discuss their biggest competitor, PayPal. So we're going to discuss PayPal in a moment. The first comp for us is always PayPal. And while PayPal is a much larger and more scaled business, uh, we do look at the playbook and their history of the last 10 years uh, and the consolidation of platforms, successful expansion beyond their core route, and then M&A to drive a massive value uh, story. We absolutely see PaySafe as positioned for a very, very similar story. 
and with the same capabilities. So we're talking about PayPal here. They're saying, you know, PayPal is similar to them. And PayPal obviously has a huge market cap. PayPal is almost $300 billion. And when they're talking about PayPal, they're saying that, you know, it's quite large. It's a scaled business. They buy out competitors and they buy out and acquire the right companies. So through mergers and acquisitions, they bought iZettle, lots of good smaller companies. And Paysafe has said that they think they'll have a similar growth story to PayPal. So if we do a quick recap, these guys are in, you know, with the e commerce business. So if we look at consumer behavior, there is so much being bought online and this pandemic has forced people to make their first online purchases. And if these guys are helping merchants run transactions for online businesses, e-commerce businesses, literally it's going to be a killing. I buy so much online now. I rarely ever go into the store. I only go into the store if I want to get some of those yellow sticker deals. So I made this Facebook group and then we went viral twice on Reddit and it's basically different groups and threads we went viral on. It's all about saving money using these yellow sticker deals. Number two, highly diverse business so we're talking about casual gaming is going to continue to grow as well as professional and esports gaming and then we're talking about online gambling the sports gambling industry as well particularly in the us is going to experience huge growth number three they solve problems for people who want to be involved but can't so pay safe cards digital wallets cash in hand people all these people are experiencing a problem. And if they're able to solve these people's problems, they're going to be enjoying a nice cash flow from those transactions. Also, I'd just like to say in the comments, I will never write to you or, or give you a WhatsApp number. I will never message you like that. The only place you can find me is Instagram at Mr. Investalot. So I've literally just opened this Instagram account up. Yeah, this is my only Instagram account you'll find Mr. Investalot altogether. If I missed anything out, please let me know. And if you enjoy this kind of content and you found this useful, please join my channel memberships just above. If you click there, it's only 99 cents a month and you help me create good content like this. But if you're unable to join channel memberships, just you hitting like and clicking subscribe means the world to me. Thank you so much for watching. Mr. Investalot over and out, baby. Shh.